Glad to have you join us again. It's still Business Breakfast on iBrand TV. Let's get talking now. Let's quickly take a review of the Nigerian equities market. The Nigerian Exchange Limited started the new month of August on a negative note as the all shell index and equities market capitalization depreciated further by 0.23% to 64,192.20 points and 34.932 trillion naira respectively as against the preceding day 64,337.52 points and 35.01 trillion naira the year to date positive return dropped to 25.25% as the market further defied analyst expectation this week. In deals worth 7,935 investors exchange and at 762.97 million Naira shares worth 7.7 .7 billion Naira as ICO, UBA, AXA Mansad, ETI and FCMB Group were actively traded stocks on Tuesday. According to, according to some research analysts, they believe that the positive sentiment around the new policies will continue to drive the rally in the market, adding that they expect the commencement of the second quarter 2023 earnings season will play an important role in the market's direction. So we'll take a break now and when we return, we'll dive into our conversation segment as we look at some of the fundamentals that are fueling um, the current protests by the NLC and meet the palliative that has been put in place by the current administration to cushion the effect of um, the uh, uh, free subsidy remover. Let's tell you that despite the rollout of subsidy remover, Paliti by the president, the NSA against all odds, and back on its nationwide protest today. We'll have more details after this break to stay with us.